this is the Gua Sa tool that I'll be using. And you can take a clo closer look at it. Um, so it's got this edge to it. It helps break down fascia. And, and so we'll begin right now. All right, tell me how you're doing if the pressure is too much. Feels pretty good. Good. So here we're opening up the neck. The trapezius is like a kite that comes down here and then down here. Below that is the rhomboids. And then the scapula, which comes out like a wing and attaches to the shoulder. The shoulder joint is our most flexible joint, but in exchange for that, it trades off stability. And so that's why there's a lot of shoulder injuries. So, but that allows the great range of motion we have. And then on the scapula, here we have the superior edge, here we have the medial edge, here we have the lateral edge, and then we're working the teres, minor and major, and the subscapularis, and generally kind of working all the muscles that help stabilize the rotator cuff. So, and now working the deltoid, are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. And in the process of gua sha, there's toxins are released. So over time, the clear jojoba oil takes on a somewhat dirty tint because all this dirt and uh, other toxins are coming out. Gua sha is also used for the common cold to help release the cold because the meridians that come up here often become very stagnant during that and uh, the release of that helps the person get past the cold faster, shortens the duration of the cold. Wow, that's something right there. Holy mackerel. <laughs>